Ephraim Gordon was visiting our town. He was visiting our country. He was here for a wedding and he was shot to death. As WMER 2 News Jeff Hager reports tonight, the community really is rallying around all the efforts to help police identify a suspect. Community members are now hitting the streets, circulating flyers like this one, offering $30,000, which could help lead to Gordon's killer. What happened to that guy is not fair. He did not deserve to die like this. Anger over another fatal shooting in Baltimore, this time targeting a Jewish man who had come from Israel for a family wedding in an apparent robbery gone wrong. Karen Levin is the executive director of the Baltimore Zionist District. People deal with, uh, you know, with bombings, people deal with terrorists, and then to come here on a one-week vacation to visit your family and to be uh, murdered on the doorstep of your family. Um, the message that it sends is that we need to do a lot of work in our city. Supporters gathered on the street where the victim died, fanning out through the surrounding community with flyers advertising a $30,000 reward for information that leads to an arrest and conviction. While robbery remains a possible motive, Levin says family members believe Ephraim Gordon may also have been the victim of a hate crime. I can tell you that he was wearing a kippah. I can tell you from the family in Israel that he did not have anything stolen from him. Um, I can tell you again that it was in a predominantly Jewish neighborhood. Um, so is it possible that it was anti-Semitism? We can certainly say that it was possible. Uh, the family in Israel does believe that it was anti-Semitism. Levin adds that it appears three young men confronted the victim as he got out of a car and headed towards his relative's house. But the question remains over why, instead of just taking his possessions, the gunman decided to take his life. Take his wallet, take the car, take his watch, don't kill him. To be eligible for the reward, if you have any information, you can call Metro Crime Stoppers, the number 1-866-7-LOCKUP. Reporting in Northwest Baltimore, Jeff Hager, WMAR 2 News.